We offer uh, searches for businesses, homes, and schools. Police aren't the only ones looking for drugs these days. Parents have an interest and a new tool to go after drugs that can tear families apart. This tool can help parents confirm whether someone they love has a problem. Alex Cabrero is in Riverton tonight. Alex, tell us about this tool and how it helps. Well, basically, they do exactly what a police canine officer would do, Bruce and Dini. They use a dog to sniff for drugs. Now, the company is based here in Riverton, but they'll travel almost anywhere if called. Oh, what a good boy. For two-year-old Big Tony, Check here. sniffing for drugs is just a game. If he finds the drugs, he gets his favorite thing in the world, which is a tennis ball. But to those families who hired him, it's not a game at all. Utah is a wonderful state, but we've got a bit of a drug problem here. Ty Brown and his partner Aaron Day created Utah Drug Dog after realizing there isn't another business like it in the state. This is something that is provided in other states, in most states, uh, most large states. Basically, if you think a loved one is involved in drugs, you can have Big Tony take a sniff because a dog's nose can pick up on odors us humans can't. He can pick up on marijuana, he can pick up on cocaine, he can pick up on crack, he can pick up on heroin, and he can pick up on meth. So he's, uh, he's a multi-talented star. And this business isn't just for homes. The owners say under the law, if asked, they can bring Big Tony to businesses and schools. With the laws that we have in place, this is just one more tool that Utah schools can use to keep drugs out of the schools and uh, keep their kids safe. Of course, the owners wouldn't be in this business if they didn't think they could make some money. But they also feel they can help save families before it's too late. Utah is a, fam a very family-oriented state. And if we can help families come closer together and prevent potential problems coming into the home caused by drugs, then I really think that we're doing the community a, a community good. The owners tell us Big Tony was trained back east alongside police dogs. He is still getting training here in Utah to pick up on other drugs besides the five we mentioned. Now, if this story hits home to you, you can go to our website, KSL.com. We have a link to the company's website on our website. Bruce and Dini. Very interesting business model. Thanks, Alex Cabrero.